What is up guys, the Collector19 here and today we have here the Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer figure right zero figure, the Demon Nezuko Kamado. So, here we go. Finally, we have the Demon Nezuko Faz figure or Figure Art Zero figure in my hands and soon to be added to the Nezuko Shrine. And I gotta say that the box is really big. Hopefully, this figure will sit well sit and sit properly beside my other Nezuko figures in the acrylic case since, uh, you know, space is limited. Hopefully, I can work something out and the shrine will still look good even though there are a lot of figures in it. So I'm excited to have this one because for me this is the best looking Nezuko figure out there so far because it features Nezuko in her demon form. And I like the figure overall because there's a lot of effect pieces going on around it. I like the sculpt, I like the paint applications, and I cannot wait to pop this one out of the box. So just a quick look at the box, we have here the front side of the box, there's some window there. You can see Nezuko through the plastic window. A closer shot or a sprite of the figure there. We have here the Tomashi Nations logo or the seal, quality seal. Tomashi Nations logo, Bandai logo, Bandai Namco here, Kimetsu no Yaiba logo, and yeah. Figure Art Zero here and a lot of Japanese characters. On the other side, there we have a window plus Nezuko Kamada Demon Form Advancing Version. So that's what the figure is called or the version of Nezuko is called. At the back you can see the various angles of the figure so we'll get in touch with that later in the video. I, I'm really excited to pop this one out of the box. On the other side you can see the figure in its entirety right there. On top another window plus the name of the line and name of the figure. And on the bottom an art of the figure as well. So that's an awesome look to it. And I really like the figure art zero boxes. They're, uh, they're premium looking. They're feel is very premium and you get your money's worth not just for the figure but for the packaging so it's awesome indeed so without further ado guys let us get into the unboxing pop Nezuko out of the box and out of her plastic clamshells and going forward checking out how awesome this figure really is and yeah I'm just excited to pop this one out of the box and without further ado let us get into it so here we have the demon form Nezuko Kamado figure art zero figure out of the box and we have a problem. I don't know how would I position this in the Nezuko Shrine since it's a bit big and hopefully I don't have, I will not need to remove any figures from the shrine to accommodate this figure. It is looking sick. I like the details, the effect pieces, the paint application, and the sculpt. They are all amazing and once again, you cannot go wrong with any figure at zero figures. So if you're into more of the sophisticated looking figures, but they do not cost that much, for me, figure at zero figures is the best bet to go. So this Nezuko Kamado is my sixth figure at zero figure in general in the whole collection. And all of my fast figures are all Demon Slayer. So without further ado, let us get into the details of this figure. So we have here once again the Faz Nezuko Kamado Demon Form Advancing Version. The face plate or the face sculpt is looking amazing. It looks like Nezuko from the second season turning into a demon. And I'm sorry guys if there are dogs barking. It's not our dogs, it's the neighbor's dog. So bear with me. I like the like swoosh effect here. Some are pointy, so be careful guys if you own this figure, don't want to get um, poked by the ends of those plastics. I like the demon, blood demon art here, the flame, exploding, exploding blood. That is Nezuko's signature demon, blood demon art move. And you can see there are some gradient finishes on her kimono there so the patterns on her kimono are etched or are molded there they are not just drawn or just um, machine painted it is sculpted and molded there 
So I like the transition from like a dark pink to a lighter pink there, like a palish pink. I like it. It looks good. The leaves here, the tattoos on Nezuko's arms, on her legs there. I like the finish. No paint flaws whatsoever. They are kind of yeah, it's clean. It's um crisp. And of course, I forgot to mention that we have like a smoke effect here as the base of the figure. So we have or we got a smoked effect from that um, Tengen Uzui, uh, the Sound Hashira figure at zero figure. So it's like dust. Well, yeah, it serves as their bases. And I can feel some oil around the base part. So I kind of understand why there is um, oil in some parts of the figure because I think it's for the paint so it won't stick to the clamshell. So yeah, I like the sculpt, I like the finish, I like everything about this figure. It looks good, the paint applications look good. Yeah, it's really molded well, it's really sculpted well. And once again, if you are a fan of um, sophisticated looking figures but are on the cheaper side, you should go for fast figures or figure out zero figures. So it's your money's worth. It's like a resin-ish sort of figure. You get your money's worth. And yeah. So they have announced um, a newer batch for the Demon Slayer line. We have Tokito, Moichiro, and Kanroji Mitsuri because of course they are the star Hashiras of the third season. So it's a no-brainer and it's automatic that they would get their own figure at zero figures and you can bet your bottom dollar that I'll be getting those two. Maybe not at the same time but yeah we'll get there since you know I'm collecting Hashira figures there's a Hashira shrine in the works or actually it's uh, like it's in like 40 or 50 percent of its um, development. I'm really excited to complete all of the Hashira figure at zero figures. And this one is an amazing figure rights figure. So yeah guys, if you are a fan of Nezuko Kamado, if you are collecting her figures, this one is a must-have. You'll love the plastic effect pieces here. You'll love the sculpt, you'll love the paint applications. And the overall presence and look of the figure, it is really your money's worth. So yeah, that's it guys. Once again, we have here the Figure Art Zero Demon Nezuko Kamado, her advancing version, a figure by Bandai and Tamashi Nations. So that is it guys for the review of this Figure Art Zero Demon Nezuko Kamado Advancing Version. And my final thoughts, really awesome figure. I like it. The presence is really presentable. You can really see her like right off the bat. If you look at a display, if you look at your collection, she will stand out really well. And my favorite part of course are the effect pieces. You can't go wrong with effect pieces and you cannot go wrong with figure art zero figures. So if you're wondering where I got my figure from, I got it off Kimi no Japan Shop. So if you're interested in purchasing your figure art zero Nezuko figure, do make sure to message them, like their page if you haven't already, and they may have a figure that you have been looking for for a very long time. So send them some love. Once again, like their page if you haven't already. And once again, thank you so much Kimi no Japan Shop. So that is it guys for another figure review in the channel. Always if you have enjoyed the review, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. I post videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays or better yet, hit that notification bell so you'll always get notified every time I make an upload. Also you can check me out in my social media accounts, all of the links are linked in the description below. So once again guys, this has been The Collector and this has been Nezuko Kamado, her demon form advancing version. Thanks for watching Let's Collect and I'll see you in the next video.